Hey folks, Dave Cross here with a, a little tip on uh, a function called refine mask. A lot of people have been talking about refine edge, including myself, for making really nice selections of things like hair. But here's a really nice example of what the refine mask function can do. I'm just going to open a raw file. And when I look at it in camera raw, let's put it back the way it was created. This was the original capture. The sky's a little overexposed and the wall's a little underexposed. So I want to kind of combine two exposures together after the fact, since this is the only image I have. So first of all, I make sure it's open in Photoshop as smart object. That's going to be very important to me. It's going to make my life a lot simpler. So let's do this. Let's look at just the sky. I'm going to ignore the wall for a moment. So I'm going to move like the recovery slider and the exposure and maybe the saturation a little bit to make the sky a little deeper bluer. There's still going to be a little bit of blown out detail, but that's okay. That's where the sun was, so that's fine. And hit open object. It applies those settings and opens it in Photoshop as a camera raw smart object. That little symbol on the corner means anytime if I want to, I can double click on it to go right back to camera raw and adjust the settings. What I want to do, however, is take advantage of this by doing one extra thing. I'm going to make a second version of this using a command called new smart object via copy. I can't just duplicate it because if I did it would be an exact clone. This way it's going to be a separate layer with its own link to back to camera raw. So I'm going to hide this top one for a second, double click on the bottom one, and then we're going to put it back to the default as shot kind of settings and now really look just at the wall. So I'm going to increase the fill light a little bit, maybe push the exposure up just a hair, and maybe again a bit more saturation, maybe even the clarity slider just to really bring out some more detail. And as you can see, that's doing bad things to the sky, but that's okay because this is, remember, our second exposure that we're doing just for the wall. So now I let it update, and you'll see this one is now bright. But what I want to do is combine them together. So back here on the top version, I'm going to take my quick selection tool and because there's a pretty good contrast, because the dark areas are so dark, should do a pretty good job of allowing me to select everything. Let's get a little closer and see what we've got here. And you can see right away it's okay except for the tops of the trees. There's some areas that aren't quite there. Well, instead of spending any great amount of time trying to fix it, here's what I would try doing first. Add a layer mask by clicking on the Add Layer Mask button. So now what that's doing is letting the, the darker sky be visible and the lighter wall be visible at the same time, thanks to the mask. But once again, if we get close, you can see it doesn't look very good right through here. So you can see it's just it's not a very good mask at this point. Well, again, instead of what I would have done in the past was get in close and do a lot of painting, now the first thing I would try is this. Go to the Mask panel, go to Mask Edge, and then just take this Edge Detection tool and basically, let's make it just a little bit bigger, just come in here and paint along this edge. And just like that, it's detecting where the little treetops are and basically fixing it. Let's move this over here. Watch this part right here in particular. This is pretty amazing. Look at that. Just blends it right in. So any worries that I had over saying, well, I need to make a better mask. Now I don't. I just go, what? You know what? Click OK. Looks great. Let's just look at the mask that it created. You can see, look at all that detail. It got perfect. So a function that has been around for a while, this kind of dual processing in Camera Raw has just got that much better thanks to the Refine Edge function inside Mask Edge. So that means after you've already made a mask, you still have this option to refine the edge thanks to Mask Edge. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching.